It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell. The Dean Blundell Show. This is mass madness, you maniacs. 102.1, The Edge. Uh, we may get some rain and snow tomorrow. Other than that, we look okay. Not bad. Wet snow. Is there any other kind? Yeah, the snow that does. It, like, wet snow implies it doesn't stay on the ground, I think. Oh. Like it's sloppy. <laughs> Man, They I should know. call it sloppy snow. I know, sloppy. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody knows sloppy, I know sloppy. What a horrible word, eh? Yeah. Sloppy. You know, I find that, like, if you really want to insult a female... Yeah. Uh, ...more than any other word, more than the B word, the C word, any word, that one word really gets to them. Anything sloppy yeah. bleep. Yeah, That's you a, sloppy this. Sloppy You're such hair. a sloppy this. You sloppy that. <laughs> Look at that sloppy. <laughs> Look at her. Look at him. You can do it for guys too. Yeah, Look at him. he's just pure slop. Sloppy. It's, it's a brutal word, dude. One of the angriest uh, a woman ever got at me. She uh, slapped a friend of mine. Big, big girl. Yeah. Years ago. The big girl got slapped? Or no, the big she girl slapped a slapping? friend of mine. Cause she was drunk, and uh, he asked her to stop mouthing off to everybody at the party. And she turned around, and she just wa- wasted him right across the face. And he didn't do anything, which was good. He just asked her to leave. And then out of nowhere, yeah, I, I, I may or may not have piped up with, yeah, you sloppy, you know what? Yeah. Rhymes with, yeah. <laughs> didn't go over well. <laughs> no. You've never seen someone get so mad. And I don't think it was the biatch word. I think it was the sloppy, sloppy word. Sloppy, for sure. And she, she was, though. Like she was, like, sloppy. really sloppy. She had yeah. the, the muffin top going, and she had did all kinds of stuff. Oh. I mean, you know, I'm, I was, at the time, no prize either, so we were both probably fairly sloppy, but she was very sloppy and bitchy, too. You could call someone a sloppy humanitarian. It's still, it's mean. No, the word sloppy yeah. pretty much negates anything sure. nice you say. So she was just spilling over the whole Oh, crow. Oh. She's one of those angry, sweaty chicks, too. You know? Yeah. Like, you just get angry and all sweaty and just weird. And she, like, uh, Picture you, you know, Rob the more, the more the she wig. walked, probably a lot like Rob, who, by the way, canceled his way in last Did you hear week. about Yeah, he was too busy. <laughs> That's what he said for that eight seconds. It takes eight seconds. Yeah, I know. Too busy to walk out of his office, step yeah. on the scale, and walk back into his office. You know what? You know what? Too busy is French for too fat, and I haven't stopped eating. Yes, that guy's a sloppy. He's mayor a sloppy Fords. mayor. Yeah, he's a sloppy mayor. <laughs> what a great word. <laughs> what a sloppy dick. Like he is. You know, he's flopping all over the place. He's just gross. He's sweaty. Won't 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 do the way in. That was to the cut to waste challenge. wasn't only for him. It was to set an example to every proud Torontonian who was okay with their weight but wanted felt the need that they got to yeah. lose it. I was actually encouraged by because at the time I was in the midst of losing a bunch of weight yeah. and trying to get into shape and stuff. And then I thought, oh, that's great. He's going to do this in front of people. I'd never do it in front of people. Not only did he not do it in front of people, he quit doing it. And when he'd do it in front of people, he was a dick about it, too. He'd walk out and go, I'm too busy. It was a bad week of fish balls. <laughs> Someone should do a little mashup video of how it first started like everyone's so encouraged and they're yeah. laughing and they're talking for every week how it progresses because <laughs> two weeks ago he got on it just yeah, laughed yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and remember then, that yeah, yeah he didn't get on it the week before because yeah. he was too big and then he gained weight the weeks previous to yeah. that and then he got on it and uh and got and literally went like this three 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 away okay thank you yeah, yeah, boom, boom. Yeah. i don't even think he said uh, thank you no three away okay bye i don't want anybody on yeah. okay bye all right. 
Next week, the scale won't even be in his office. No, like, you're no you know what? The scale's going to refuse to work because it's just dicked him around so much. <laughs> it's a big scale, too. They use it to, like, uh, weigh meat. Mm-hmm. Like skids of meat. Yeah, because most scales don't go over And in this case, skids of fat. No, I know that. Yeah. Dude, but I was like 290. Yeah. I remember getting close to the bottom of the scale going, this is not good for You were anyone. 290, yeah. Yeah, 286, yeah. Jeez. And he was 330. I know. And he's like, you got like five, he's six like, inches on I know, him. he's like four foot seven or That's something crazy. like that. That's crazy. I know. He looks like a bowling ball in a suit. The bowling ball uh, in a cheap suit, Dean. <laughs> in a very cheap suit. <laughs> <laughs> Time for traffic again. Here's the lovely Adjwa. Hey, Adjwa. Hey, Dean. And problems still on the go on the southbound Kennedy ramp. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do women hate hearing the word sloppy when someone's referencing them? Because uh, we, we were thinking that that could be one of the worst things you could no, call a woman. Sloppy think, and then something else. Yeah, I think the C1 is worse. No way. What if you yeah. use both of them? You sloppy. Oh. Use them both together. Yeah, that's a situation. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's a, a situation. That's a situation. Them's fighting words, huh? Yeah, yeah. You got your you got your dukes up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I you bet. Do. I just rang a freaking dinner. I love the Dean Dunn South Show. We're on 2.1. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Chief, remember a couple years ago when that homeless dude got trapped in the mud? <laughs> And he kept going, hey, hey. He's asking for help. Yeah. Hey. And everybody's like, hey, bud. Yeah, there's <laughs> three days he was here. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, The Edge. Hello. Hey, who's this? Cyrus. Cyrus. How's it going? Good. Good. Hey, what bud. Hey, bud. So, uh, I was eating breakfast this morning in my underwear, and I dropped an egg on my lap. I call that egghead. Jesus, Cyrus, it's terrible. Brutal. Hi, The Edge. It's getting worse. You know. Hi, The Edge. Hey, Lou. Yo. Hey, Yo. buddy. What's up? What's up, dude? Uh, I just listened to your show and uh, driving on the way to work and thinking how much it kind of sucks. It's harder to tell you off live on radio than it is in my head, I'll tell you that. That's okay. Go ahead. Oh, you want to tell us we suck? No, I, dude, I told uh, Just that Dean, I, I just think Dean sucks. I think everyone else is funny and all the callers are funny. Why do I suck? I think Dean's the least funny guy on the whole show. I don't know why it's named after you. Hmm. You're upset about the Rob Ford stuff, aren't you? Uh, I'm not so upset. I just think it's humiliating for the poor guy, you know? And uh, all I know about him, because I could care less about Toronto politics. I don't live in Toronto. But I hear you calling, he's dumb, he's fat, he's fat. You know, it's all cock out poo poo jokes. It doesn't mean anything. The guy goes out and he's. It's hard. The guy's a big guy and everyone's laughing at him. I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, not, I'm not. I'm not laughing at. No, dude, I'm not laughing at him because he's a pig. You yourself uh, not long ago. Yeah, I was. But he could laugh at himself about but it. But I, yeah. But I did, dude. Here's the difference between me and Rob Ford is that I'm not a bully and I don't treat people like crap. And he treats people like crap. If if you don't, if if you wonder uh, where my, I've seen I've seen you be a bit of a bully to uh, some of the guests on your show, like that Metis or he, that's different. He that. deserved it. You make, you're making fun of the guy because he can't spell a word bigger than one syllable. You know, I mean, and it's like three times a week he calls in. You get him to spell dude, like there's no dude. Uh, dude, it was, it's a it's a show. I it's know, a show. It's a show, and that's it's standard. To be honest, Dude, if you don't, hey, show, listen, bro. Holmes, if you don't like it, honest to Christ, if you don't like it, and if you think that uh, Rob Ford can show up to Leaf games and uh, and and swear and scream at, at, at women and then talk about rape and then, oh no, no, no if you if you said, think that that's totally that. cool, I if you think if you that. think Rob Ford's enough of an upstanding you're, you're individual, you go right ahead and then stick up for him. What? You're putting words in my mouth and every. I I didn't, dude. I'm saying you you you're telling me to take it easy on this guy who could be one of the most abhorrent people I have ever heard of. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 as far as his weight goes, the only reason why I'm taking shots at him is because if if you're supposed to set an example as a mayor and you do a weight loss challenge and you gain weight or refuse. That's not the kind of guy yeah, I think that should I, be I running say, a running a is, city. It is lame, but I'm just saying it's also bro, hard. Bro, I, honestly, back to Dean's point earlier, where it's a show. We subjectively, 
we try and we try and uh, and have some fun here. And sometimes you either like it or you don't. You can't compare us to the mayor of the city or compare Dean to the mayor of the city because we we're supposed to set an example for nobody. <laughs> He's supposed to set an example. If <laughs> that, you choose well, to listen to us, we, we're you thankful of it. An example that nobody should follow. I got yeah, to, I, I, we're thankful that. if you listen. We're thankful if you laugh. We do our best, man. And 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 typically we make each other laugh. So who cares? But <laughs> well, I got to say I'm a faithful listener. So keep on going, boys. All right, Thanks, dude. Bro. Appreciate All your time. Reason. Thanks for your time. Bye bye. The mayor's not out there to make people laugh. He's out no. there to do a good job and run and the city and set good examples. And we're out there to make fun of the mayor. That's, That's what we get part of paid our job. For. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're fortunate. It's like going to up that. to a, a, a guy that does appendectomies and saying, yeah. "Can you do uh, eye surgery?" No. Oh, I do appendectomies. And, and whether you liked the old mayor, uh, Mayor Miller's uh, politics or not, he was tough to make fun of because he was a pretty stand-up guy. He, uh, he, you know, he dressed the part, he looked the part, he acted the part at least. And politics aside, you couldn't. It was hard, tough to make fun of that guy. Mayor Dave? Ford, yeah, That's Dave's a great guy. He was. It's because yeah. he. Uh, you know why? It's because he wasn't. Uh, wasn't a weirdo. <laughs> really? No, I mean, I'm saying politics how many times? Aside. Have, uh, all all the things that, that that we know about Rob Ford. I mean, he has been a joke. He has been a. a he's just been joke. He's been material content after content. He's been. Um, it's built in humor. It, the fact that he won. And he is our mayor. It's built in humor that, that uh, all you have to do is, is, that'll feel like painting this week. You almost can't write humor like that. Like, like we're going to do this cut waist challenge. And everyone's going to follow my lead. And I'm not going to lose weight. And, and I'm not even going to get on the scale. I'm going to get weight. That's right. Instead of blood, I'm going to have a gravy transfusion. <laughs> right. I mean, if anyone else did that, you'd make fun of the guy. Yeah. If anyone else that big talked about how much he works out and football and took poutine to the friggin' football practice, and people have been and, ha yeah. and had the off like the 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 run-ins with the law that he's had, the amount of times cops have been called to his house, the amount of times he's been arrested, the amount of times he's been chastised, the things he said about Asian people. I mean, come on. He's a, he's a massive, massive, massive joke in a in a suit. I don't mean he's a joke. I mean the 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 material he gives us are jokes. It's awesome. I thought you meant the material on a suit's a joke. Oh, probably no. Fun? The material the material on his suit is very stressed out. <laughs> hey, the edge. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hey, you. Hello? Good. You? Not bad. Was shaking. Nothing. I got to tell you about that other caller. That's fine that he's got his own opinions, but I have to agree with you. Uh, and I'm going to take it a little bit further that Rob Ford is a walking slop fest. <laughs> and uh, I think he is a joke. And I feel bad for people who want to get into politics because yeah. this guy is just, well, I don't want to swear on the radio, but to say that I got contempt for the guy is an understatement. Yeah. Um. On the other hand, though, I think you guys are doing a fantastic job. I've been a, a long-time listener, and uh, keep up the good work, boys. Thanks, brother. What's Thanks, your name? Man. My name's Pete. Pete, have a great day. Appreciate your time. Hey, I, uh, dude, yeah, I don't have to. I don't have to sell anybody on what we're how doing? hilarious Rob Ford has been for us. I don't have to tell you that. No, we were hoping to get in the office because we knew it was, it was guaranteed material. Yeah. That's what we said, as a matter of fact. I really like that other guy. Uh, I, I, I could care less who won the mayor's election, except for the fact I secretly was hoping Rob would win because I knew we would have all these great times. I know we were barely around for the last one. Like we, we had yeah. a, about a year of last one, or and that something, was right? awesome. Yeah, that was yeah. when we found out about the chick with the limp yeah, and sure. the illegitimate kids and, and all some the shoplifting or yeah, something. I don't all know. that. Yeah, but I liked him too because he was real. He was hey, fun. I, I poke fun at Rob. At least he's real. You know what I mean? At least he's normal. Well, he goes like he he went yeah. out, apparently went out on on, on uh, St. Patrick's Day and had a, just a terrific time. Well, I looked at in the pictures anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and good for him. Yeah, he's still a human being. By the edge. Hey, how are you? Good, you. Not too bad. I just want to say uh, you guys do a great job. You guys are funny, and that last caller who called in's an idiot anyway. Oh, thanks, but, dude. Uh, Hey, I want to talk about that, that gas price. How you're talking about, you know, people complaining about two cents a liter. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Like, but the way I'm seeing it is, right? Like, the gas, the gas truck doesn't fill up the gas station every day, right? Right. So what I don't understand is, is that, you know, 
you go in, you, you buy gas for let's say a dollar twenty one day, and then the next day it's like a dollar twenty six. Yeah. Well, the gas truck didn't bring the gas with a dollar twenty six that day, so why don't they give me the sh at the bottom of the tank for a dollar twenty? <laughs> Why don't they give me the stuff that they had put in at a dollar twenty instead of the stuff that was a dollar twenty six? I'll I'll explain yeah. it to you too, uh, sir. And, and it's very weird uh, how it works. Is this the gas you're buying at a at four cents a liter more? Is is the gas that is in storage right now, not the gas you're pumping? So you're buying the gas as it sits in storage. The gas that, that has already been purchased gets bumped up every time. It's just a stupid little thing. Oh, well, that's just ridiculous. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is ridiculous. You're essentially buying whatever someone tells you you're buying, and that's, that's all, all that matters. Hi, The Edge. Morning, D. Hey, dude. That guy that called there this morning, if he doesn't like you, yeah. tell him to go listen to that 99 radio station. Maybe you can hear the stuff that you said the other day today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just won't like him tomorrow, then. <laughs> yeah. Hi, The Edge. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, bud. What's up? Good. I just want to say that uh, my girlfriend... Yeah. Way sloppy. Woo! Oh! oh. <laughs> Derek, you missed it earlier. We're okay. saying how sloppy is one of the worst words you could ever use to describe a woman or yeah. anything or, or anything. If you do a sloppy a B word, sloppy yeah. C word, yes. sloppy, you know, person, just sloppy. Just sloppy in general. At the edge. Hey, how's it going? Good, what's shaking? Hey, you know, I just want to say, uh, you know, I love you guys. I love listening to your show. Thanks. And I also wanted to say that, uh, you know, Rob Ford, it's going to be one of those marriages, you know, like down the road years from now, that people, you know, talk about. They'll be like, remember that Mayor Ford? You know, I'm just saying, we'll still be laughing about him even way after. You know? Well, and that, you know what? Uh, that's kind of the, 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 what we have. You're right. It's kind of like the, you know, 10 years from now. I still love talking about Mel Lastman. I thought yeah. he was an awesome mayor. I mean, he had some slip-ups and stuff like that, but, you know, he, by and large, did, I think, a great job. Well, as long but as he, was, not, he was a character. As, lo as long as we're not like Jay Leno. Hey, you know, it's a true story. Eh? He still tells stories about Bill Clinton. It's a true story. Did you read about this? Yeah. Hi, The Edge. Oh. Hi, The Edge. Hello. Hello. Hey. Dina? Yeah. How you doing? Good, bud. Jojo Drummond. You can hear him coming. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. When are you going to become mayor? When am I going? Never. Why? Uh, well, you teased the people yesterday. Well, I was, I was thinking of maybe running for uh, office at some point in my life, but I just don't think it's... You know what it is, is that I look at the kind of quality of individual that gets into politics, and I know yeah. lots of them, and right. lo some of them are my friends, and I don't even believe those people. Uh -huh. So, and, and they have to have lots of meetings and wear suits, and I'm just not interested in wearing in going to meetings oh, yeah. and wearing suits. You know what I mean? Okay, hey, yesterday you had that girl on uh, What Happened. Can you play that again? Uh, oh, the girl that couldn't laugh? stop laughing? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, wasn't it? No, she's toast. Hi, The Edge. Uh, yeah, oh, the new uh, Charlie Sheen commercial. No. With the uh, Fiat 500 car. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, did you see it? Yeah, yeah, he pulls up in a Fiat. Yeah, he's with his hot chicks and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Really? I saw yeah. is J Lo in a Fiat commercial too? I don't know. I think, I think could she probably was... park a Fiat and J Lo though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she was in a Fiat commercial and that they she filmed it like in her original hood and stuff. But yeah. it turned out that she filmed it in LA and it was someone else who was just a body travel driving yeah. in her old hood. In, in LA. <laughs> yeah. 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 Going there. <laughs> I the edge. Exactly. Hey guys, how you guys doing? Good, what's up? Good. Uh, can I just say the first guy that called, he said poo poo caca. Yeah. You guys didn't really pay attention to that, but... No, he uh, lost he me at Poo Poo Kaka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he had me at hello. Uh, can I tell you guys a real quick story? Mm hmm Okay, um, so I was in Florida uh, shopping outside, and um, there's this gentleman in a wheelchair, and he's being pushed um, by, I assume, being his mother. Um, so he's being pushed around, and he's very, very special gentleman. Yeah. Um, like, kind of drooling everywhere. And so anyway, so as I'm walking by, he sticks out his sweaty claw and pokes me in the middle of the chest and his mother who i assume is his mother all of a sudden yells out jimmy no in the most spanish mexican accent i've ever heard but she wasn't spanish or mexican at all so that's my uh that's my great story for the day jimmy no I love those so stories random. that just quit, yeah. right? <laughs> like in the middle of it, they just quit. <laughs> and that's the story. Jimmy, no! Okay, Jimmy, bye. no! Jimmy, no! Hey, Jimmy, no! no. Hey. hey, Jimmy, I say, don't do it. Hey. Good morning, guys. Hey, who's oh, this? Oh, nice. 
Who is this? How are you? Who is this? This is Alexis. Hi, Alexis. How are you? You just waking up right now? I'm actually not. This is just my voice. Oh. Um, I'm actually calling for um, what's wrong with you. I don't know if you're playing it yet, because um, my I'm not in the car as of yet, and I don't have a radio, so I'm not sure if um, it's time for that yet. Time for what? What's wrong with what's you? Wrong with you? Uh, no. Do, do, do you have something wrong with you? Um. <laughs> Well, it's a funny story. If you want to hear it, sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, so uh, when I was 22, I was diagnosed with IBS. I'm not sure if you guys know what sure. that is. Sure. Irritable bowel syndrome. Oh, inflammatory bowel oh, syndrome. Oh, that one. Actually. Yeah. Super it's not an incredibly right? bitchin' sphincter? <laughs> <laughs> um, so well, I guess it's the point where it was so bad, so um, where I was in the hospital for quite a while. And, uh, hey, I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Watch this. Are you sure it doesn't stand for incredibly bitchin' sphincter? <laughs> well, yeah, so funny you should say that. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, to diagnose it, you have to have a, you know, you have to go through the whole colonoscopy nonsense, which was uh, not the most pleasant experience that I've ever had. And they actually asked me, you know, did I want to watch while they did it? No, probably not. I have a question for you. Sure. Have you? I've always wanted to ask someone this question. I never have, and I figure why, while we're on the air, I might as well do it now. Since she's talking about colonoscopy and having a bad uh, bum. <laughs> Can I... Have you Had you had pleasure in that region before? No. Okay. Oh, because you think that you've heard the stories where it can mess things up. No. I'm thinking that <laughs> oh. she said it wasn't the most comfortable thing in the world, and I was thinking, well, you know. If you hey, did you practice? It's weird because I had a colonoscopy and I thought it was just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it was kind of small. <laughs> like, I asked just... for the bigger yeah. one. Can we get an <laughs> HD cam in there, Doc? <laughs> Studio quality? Youth <laughs> two. Youth two. I want multiple <laughs> angles. Sorry, go ahead. You guys are too much. Um, long story short, uh, so I go through with it. Yep, they confirm. And. Uh, put on a round of uh, medication. Luckily, it didn't get to the point where I had to, you know, you know when people have to get, like, that bag outside and they attach it, like, outside sure. your stomach and it's, like, right... Colon yeah, it's a call, that, a call like, well, I believe colostomy yeah. bag, yeah. Yeah, gross. So, luckily, it wasn't that inflammatory, not that bad. Monitored by uh, some, some medication, no problem. So, a few months go by, relatively free of attacks, and then all of a sudden, I guess, maybe I was a little bit stressed out, I'm not really sure, but um, completely hit up with like the worst attacks ever. It got so bad that I um, ended up tearing my my behind, whatever. Oh. Did which on oh. like the, the the sphincter itself or the inside before it gets oh. to this oh, oh. oh. No, the B stands for blood in that Incredibly bloody sphincter. I like go to the emergency room, like prop me up on the thing and like they put a like a like a like one of those like memory foam pillow doodads under my tummy, so I'm up there with my ass in the air. Yeah. Cute doctor comes in. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, do something about this. So I ended up having to have surgery. They had to like stitch me up because you know, when, like women have like babies and you have to get like an episiotomy and they stitch you up and yeah. it's not pleasant. Yeah. yeah, so I had to basically have that done on my ass. <laughs> 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 Or oh my god. Were you walking funny for a long time? Obviously. <laughs> well I don't know. <laughs> well, could yes, you but. could you go to the number two that during that time? It's really it's really difficult. Like uh, yeah, I heard it hurt so bad. It hurt so Do you know who tore his bad. you know who tore his uh his insides? <laughs> it was uh, Biederman. <laughs> oh yeah, he told us. <laughs> yeah, he told us on Madison. Air. Biederman told us on air that he tore his butthole. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how. Guy owns AshleyMadison.com and he tore his butthole. <laughs> well, if he's working for Ashley Madison, I imagine that. that oh, he not. owns it, so uh, oh, well, yeah, whatever. No, he's clean as a whistle, but yeah, he had this thing, same thing, and he and he had a terrible diet. He had to basically eat Metamucil and, yeah, and she, crazy, she crazy food. Diet. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, well, I did. Yeah, that's it's so gross. And then uh, so, and obviously being a girl, and whenever girls call in, they're always like, "Oh, yeah, my boyfriend." So then I was dating a guy at the time, and they said, "You know, obviously you can't have relations. This is this." So mm -hmm. it's like I don't understand. We're not doing those kind of relations. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he thought you were adventurous. <laughs> no, so so cut to so you know a few weeks later, I'm like pent up, little afternoon frisk session, and uh, he. 
he's like, uh, yeah, what, you know, what, 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 what's wrong? And nothing's wrong. It's like, um, you have a deformed ass. Oh, it's prolapsed. <laughs> and they stitched me up, so now I've got, like, a completely funny-looking bum. Oh, well. Oh, your bum's all weird-looking. <laughs> I wonder if it just looked like the, the front. Well, I don't know. Like, okay, why, would I check it out? Like, why would I check it out? Like, really bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, flip around. <laughs> Wait. If we're going to no. have sex, I got to see your face. <laughs> so I, I know it's the front. Around. The Dean Blundell Show. Wake up. Mornings. Wake up. On the edge. First of all, two things. Starbucks apparently admitted to using bugs in its uh, strawberry frappuccino or something like that. What? What? It's FDA what? approved. Oh, you haven't heard about this? No. Yeah. Well, do you get the do you get the girl drinks? I got the yeah. I was going. I was on a strawberry get out of frappuccino here. kick for a while. Were you really? I because I, it's like it's like dessert in a cup. It's unbelievable to be yeah. honest. Well, you're eating bugs. Really? Yeah. Apparently, some kind of weird uh, bug that they put in it. They grind it up. It's FDA approved. It's fine. It's healthy. But if vegans are losing it. They're like, because oh. bugs have faces. That, yes, bugs have a face. <laughs> <laughs> So they go into the Starbucks with their snotty attitude, that that vegan kind of pita snotty attitude, and they go, "I'll have a strawberry mocha chab and haka laka lato grande venti, uh, <laughs> uh, Peter Fascinelli, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> sombrero." Uh, and then and then after they they <laughs> spew these stupid words uh, and ask for something in code, they get this <laughs> strawberry uh, frappuccino thing or latte. Is it a frappuccino? Is that what it is? Yeah, what it's is a frappuccino. It? Uh, and and the, so the strawberry frappuccino, and then they drink it, and and the bugs make the dye that go into the the red for the strawberry. Oh, okay. Right? It's we've been using bugs and and, and animals to make oh, a dye for lady years. Bugs. Well, you know, then sucks to be them. Okay. However. <laughs> It's, it's it's a natural act. So so all these vegans and these people are like, no, I'll never eat anything with. A f oh, they've been drinking things with a face, all right. And what do you think that we? What do you? What do you think we get everything from? Things we kill. Yeah, then you, you know where I got yogurt. my. You, hey, dude, you know where I got my uh, whalebone uh, dining room table? A whale <laughs> from the carcass of yeah. Norca. <laughs> guess <laughs> guess guess where I got my lion skin rug. My panda slippers. <laughs> my my bald eagle shirt. Your alligator thong. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, unicorn toilet paper. <laughs> that so, would hurt, actually. So they're oh, pissed. Yeah? They're, uh, they're oh. filing some kind of loss. No, no, no. You just oh. grind it up. Oh, oh it's okay. horns. Okay. You grind it up okay. and make it into paper. Sure. It's, the okay. best. it's like six ply, but it feels like one. Oh, wow. Yeah, a unicorn uh, oh. scrotum or something. Uh, so th there was that. And then I was reading the story. Uh, did you hear about Alicia Silverstone? <laughs> this, is, this, this is my point. I don't care if someone uh, chooses not to eat meat. There, there's now there's flexitarian too, right? Where you can eat some meat and some oh, veggies. Please. It's called eating. I believe yeah, it's really? called having yeah, eating those. food. <laughs> yeah, you're... yeah. So there's this flexitarian now, uh, but but Alicia Silverstone <laughs> is like the actress is like the weirdest human being ever. She, yeah, this is strange. What she does is she chews her kid's food and she's named her child Bear Blue. Wow. Yeah. I hopefully he doesn't become a trucker because. <laughs> Park. Uh, well, bear blue out there looking for love. Bear blue. I happen to be a bear. <laughs> <laughs> so her kid, bear blue. She's thirty-five. She pre-chews, then spits the food into the kid's mouth. I have the uh, this. She, yeah, she recorded it. It's she basically chews her kid's food yeah. like a bird and then regurgitates it into her kid's mouth. This is an actress. And I'll tell you what she's puking into his mouth. It couldn't be more disgusting. Some kind of weird myoki berry kind of weirdness, the, the protein mochi soup with nori wrapped collard soup, radish steamed and drizzled with flax oil. She pukes that into his mouth. Mm. You know, if you're going to puke something into my mouth, it better be a burger. Because that's Japanese, which yeah. is puking in there. 
<laughs> Listen to this. Listen to her. It, 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 I want st- to. Uh, here she is. Yeah, that's right. So here she goes. She ch- takes his food, chews it. And then basically looks like she's going to. She, she pushes him, pokes him. And then he puts his face up to her mouth because he knows it's coming. Uh, and then horks it into his mouth there and she chews it. Oh my God. That's so wrong. She's doing it now. Looks like she's kissing him, but she's spitting food into his mouth. And then she smiles after, like. She says animals do it, so that. <laughs> no, nah, you don't. You don't, uh, t- you don't take blenders. a dumpers. <laughs> Animals don't know how to start the blender. (laughs) (laughs) And like animals, I I wonder if she lets the kid walk around outside and take a dump on the neighbor's lawn. (laughs) Uh, Animals do it. Animals also have perfect turd cutters, so they can do it anywhere they want and not have to wipe. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. Animals also take a leak on trees and hump your leg. Um, I'm trying to carefully say this. What's that? I wonder when the kid's uh, like 18, 19, going to college, how she teaches him the birds and the bees. (laughs) (laughs) Preach you. (laughs) Okay, honey, here's what you do. (laughs) I know you're 19, but mommy's got to show you something that's going to be weird. On 102.1 The Edge. This is your... Edge Hold it. Files <laughs> with Dean Blundell on the edge. Time for your Edge Files. A uh, man was arrested as he jumped on the hood of a police car and shouted his name. Sacramento police said an officer was sitting in his patrol car having a burrito oh, at cool. one in the morning when a man walked up, leaped onto the hood of his vehicle. He started screaming his own name, jumping up and down, and ran away. The jumper was easy to uh, search for because he was described as uh, wearing nothing but a sombrero, some boxing gloves, and a thong. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse James Thomas, a 55-year-old, was found nearby lying in the street, wasted drunk, and he was arrested for it, too. That guy is awesome. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, you know, he, he jumped on the cop car with a sombrero. The guy's eating a burrito. Yeah. yeah. The guy's got nothing on but boxing gloves and a sombrero, and he was just screaming, <laughs> Jesse James! <laughs> Jesse James Thomas! That's his name. <laughs> and the cop is like, what? Get off. <laughs> Thanks for making this real easy yeah. for me. I'll get a pen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd love he to see that He also made the guy. mistake of uh, shouting out his address, too. That's where oh, cops picked him up, uh, yeah. Mother of a three-month-old is suing a local hospital after a nurse accidentally cut off the end of her baby's pinky finger. What? Yeah. Oh, no. I guess, you know, y- every profession has its screw-ups. Attorney for Veronica Olgan said the nurse at the heart of the Florida Regional Medical Center cut off the tip uh, of the child's finger with scissors by mistake. I felt horrible seeing all that, the woman said. Officials said the nurse was trying to snip an intravenous tube attached from the baby's leg. I have no clue how she, you know, she had some kind of leg infection. I don't know how you mistake the intravenous, because you're you're at the other end of the child. And so she accidentally cuts off the, the pinky finger. And she thought it was the tube? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) What a great nurse. (laughs) Oh, my God. Thank God the kid didn't have to have a vasectomy. (laughs) Or uh, circumcision, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I have no nose. (laughs) Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So weird looking. The weird looking kid. And uh, coral in the Caribbean Sea has decreased about 80%. And scientists at Oregon State University said... Herpes is to blame. This is like the craziest story ever. Yeah. They think the virus, in particular the strain of herpes that affects marine animal colonies, could be to blame. They've identified 22 kinds of emerging herpes that affects coral, some of which pass to them by humans. Uh, dirty divers. I'd be on the lookout for a guy with a really, really scraped up rectum. <laughs> 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 it was you <laughs> I thought it would get rid of it Yeah, I came down on a cruise with all my friends and I, just, I don't know <laughs> Oh, one of those cruises it was out. I was there, my boyfriend left I didn't know what happened It was 30 years ago 
Who'd have thought I'd give the whole reef herpes? <laughs> Sorry, reef. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Those are your Edge Files, whatever the hell day it is in March year 2012. The Edge Files on 102.1. The Edge. Edge. It's Dean Blundell show. This is going to scar me for life and it's going to haunt me forever. Even at an old age. 102.1. I don't know how you put up with it. The Edge. We were talking before about uh, Alicia Silverstone puking in her kid's mouth to feed it. Mm-hmm. Her son's name is Bear Blue. So weird. We're not having the names like Mike or John, Derek, Sean, Dean, Todd. Whatever happened to those names? Now Bear Blue. Anyway, she's like this weird vegetarian thing. She's like puking food into her kid's mouth. Yeah, like chewing just, it up and grinding it. And the, yeah, just like total full on mashing with the kid. I think it's called masticating. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and that's and and you it know it shouldn't really even be allowed. Well, it, apparently it's been going on for a long time. Like, I mean, I even in my household, not that we do that, but like if we have a grape, you, you chop it in half with, in, with your mouth and you, you give it one half. Do you guys own knives? Baby. Do you have any knives in your house? Eh, it's just faster. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'd say it's faster to cut them. And then if you go but, grape, but, but yeah. you're going mouth to mouth like that. No, like no, no. They're, they're worried that. about the, yeah. the one thing they're worried about is like in terms of you could pass on herpes or you could. Pass on, like, apparently children yeah. don't have a lot of bacteria in their mouth, so they're not used to the strange bacteria and stuff. Mm-hmm. And you can, child can get very ill. And, and that is just. On top of it, your looks, friends, if yeah. they ever see that yeah, video, yeah. which is on the internet now, will beat the hell out of that kid when he's like in the 15th or the, when he's in his 15th year. Just looks really weird. Yeah. Wonder is that you- your mom puking food into your mouth, you <laughs> pussy? Oh, yeah, because that'll never go away. You'll be like, <laughs> yeah. stop, it was goji berry and akai fruit. <laughs> Whatever, <Stop>. bear blue. <laughs> bear blue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds like the beginning of a gross story. You know what she's done? She is going to condemn this kid to a life of bullying by naming him Bear Blue and then puking into his mouth. Alicia Silverstone. Clueless. No <laughs> kidding. It's so strange. I got this email too because we were. Th- she's like mega vegan, right? And then Starbucks had this thing where <clears throat> they admitted to putting uh, like bugs in their dye. They use bugs to make a dye for their strawberry frappuccino or whatever. This guy's emails: Vegans can suck it. How many rodent hairs and insect parts are in peanut butter? The FDA's action level for peanut butter is thirty or more insect fragments in one one or more rodent hair per hundred grams. What? Yeah. <laughs> really? Same with flour, I think. Yeah, flour. Yeah. You're going to get rodent hair. You're going to get uh, insects. You're going to get... Bu- yeah. What about pubic hair? Mm. Well, yours, there's probably a lot of animals in it. That's just Greek yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> yours, we could never put in peanut butter. Yeah, me, you could never do that act yeah. on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just swallowed a crab, honey. <laughs> so much for the vegan thing. Here, here. Chew it first. Yeah. Well, you, if you want to go out for a steak tonight, it's too late. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> yeah, by the way, that's the surf from the surf and turf. <laughs> My crabs. <laughs> 741. You know what You know what bothers me? Hmm? Are all the people like uh, this guy emails me. You don't understand the first thing about diets. Being vegan is a lifestyle choice that leads to better health in all circumstances. Clearly, he's never been to KFC. The Dean Blundell That's Show. Dean Blundell Show. 102.1. The Edge. Did that movie really had a focus? Did that actor really not have a face? No. It's the Blind Movie Reviewer. Hi, Derek. Hiya. You're blind. Yes, I am. You review movies. Yes, I do. You and your son, Ian. Yeah. And t- uh, today, uh, it's Dr. Zeus, The Lorax. I saw this movie. I really liked it. Did you? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to. Took my kids. Yeah, I did that too. I took Ian. Uh, and I don't often take him. He usually goes to, by himself to these things. But, uh, <laughs> how old is he? Three. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pretty tough kid. But, uh, yeah, so Danny DeVito is the uh, voice of the Lorax. Zach Efron and some other people uh, are in it. And as you said, it's been a very successful movie. Our experience wasn't so great. And, um, to help explain why, uh, via the miracle of Skype, would you please welcome my son, Ian? Hi, Ian. Hey, Ian. Hi, Dad. So, uh, Ian, uh, thank you for joining me on this one. Uh, what are you up to right now? Just taking care of some business before the weekend. Okay, so what? Can you know what I'm for a sec? Oh, you're not bugging Justin Bieber again. Right? Let's 
out. Bebo, here's how it's gonna play out. If I don't get half the profits from the new single, the crowbar in my hand will be your boyfriend. Get me later. Oh, you're a tough kid. You're a tough kid, but I'm telling you, we're we're gonna review you and I. We're gonna review the Lorax. Are you up for that? I don't like it. Now, now, you didn't like it, Ian, because you you left the theater about 20 minutes in, and and I was a little bit surprised. I you 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 got a little bit uh, maybe a little bit frightened or something like that. You know, folks, I may come across as a tough kid, but when it came to the Lorax, well, let me explain in song. So my dad, took me to the theater to see the Lorax collect. I put on my funky glasses so I can see the fun 3D. Instead, the Lorax scared the s*** out of me. Scared the s*** out of me. <laughs> boom, boom. There was thunder and lightning. Bam. There was another tree. That power. Was action scene necessary. Man, the Lorax scared the s*** out of me. I thought this was a movie that I had to see. No. I can handle anything. Now that I'm free. No. Hey, Dr. Zeus. <laughs> wow. He was oh. very... F- we left 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. He was bawling his eyes out. Serious? I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. So, so Ian, why don't you... I know you were a little scared, but why don't you just give us the blurry rating for this movie? I give the Larks one scary blurry out of five. And that's the way Ian sees it. It's the Blurred Movie Reviewer! 102.1 The Edge pauses. Okay. That's enough. This pause brought to you by the Dean Blundell Show. Weekday mornings on the edge. This is your edge. Hold it. Files with Dean Blundell on the edge. Bad one. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Lindsay Lohan says she's never going to do another crime again. Unless his name's Bob. Bob Crime. Uh, she was on break at the L.A. County Morgue Wednesday where she officially completed her uh, community service and she was uh, she was talked to by one of the TMZ guys. Here it is. This is pretty funny. Here it is. Good morning, Judy. Yes, very excited. I'm pretty excited not to have to stalk you here anymore. But um, <laughs> hey, So tomorrow you're going to be formally off probation. Are you going to do anything to celebrate? Um, have dinner with my sister. <laughs> oh, fun. All right. Well, thank you, Linz. Now, I don't like the uh, sober Lindsay going to the morgue to sweep look uh, because she's wearing an overcoat and oh, glass. No. Yeah, she's not wearing, like, the tight-fitting stuff anymore. Then she comes out. So, Lynn, so this is the last time, are we going to, this will be the last time you see you in front of a judge? Yes. That's good. Are you going to miss Sean Holly though? You won't get to see her as much. Well, she's still a good person in my life. She's been there for me, so. All right. Well, I wish you luck, Lynn. <laughs> Thank uh, you. You know, not so bitchy though. I like that about her. Like she's smiling and talking to the guy who's supposed to be a, a, a you know a jerk. Yeah, I guess she's trying to calm down a little bit. <laughs> maybe but that's she's too bad. Off, maybe she's off the sauce. What's no, too she, bad? Well, because when she goes to court, she looks so hot. I know. She puts on those like classy business suits that show off her boobs and her and her ace. Yeah, court Lindsay's yeah. way better than going to the morgue to do community <laughs> surf, Lindsay. You know what I mean? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> 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 Let's see over under. She'll be back. Do something stupid. Ah, uh, hundred to one. Yeah, she'll do it. She, dude, she'll be she'll be there before the end of day. She'll be stealing something she shouldn't, <laughs> taking something she shouldn't. She does look good though. Her teeth look way better. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with her teeth to begin with. How do you get stained black chipped teeth before the age of twenty five? Meth. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, her ex girlfriend's thing was really hard. Oh, yeah, chipped the chipped tooth it, on. Yeah, her. yeah. <laughs> little man in the boat and a little thing through it. <laughs> I chipped it on a stud. It was... <laughs> and did you hear about uh, this Trayvon Martin kid, Florida teen that was shot by the yeah. community watch guy? Sad story. Yeah, story. So he wasn't doing anything. He was apparently not a great kid, but he wasn't really in trouble. He was walking by with a hoodie on, and some guy was like, boom, 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 shot. Uh, Spike Lee uh, apparently tweeted uh, the the shooter's address, 
but he tweeted the wrong address. Oh, no. So everybody was going to Shirley and Jim McLean's house to utter death threats and throw eggs and light their stuff on oh, fire. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Spy. The retired couple who lived there for 42 years said people just started showing up and swearing at him. The guy walked outside. He's like, hey, what's wrong? Are they, what, are they, what are you guys doing? What's happening out here? Why are you... All you hoodie people so mad at us. We just finished going to the Hef Hungry Heifer for the early bird steak. <laughs> uh, a bunch of death threats. Uh, now now Spike Lee is apologizing, saying, I deeply apologize to the McLean family for retweeting their address. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> it was a mistake. Please leave the McLeans in peace. Please. What's going on? Yeah. I, I can't even shoot my own gun anymore, let alone shoot some poor <laughs> <Yeah>. child. <laughs> they literally had no clue why they had a hundred uh, people standing on their front lawn with uh, "Go to jail, bitch." Uh, you shot Trayvon. The guy walked out. He's like, "What's a Trayvon?" <laughs> literally, what's a Trayvon? Yeah. He had to ask why they were there. And then someone else is like, "Yo, I think we got the wrong house." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets on the, on the megaphone to <laughs> life. Attention, angry people <laughs> with knives and guns and stuff ready to kill these old folks. And torches. Don't do it. Spike tweeted the wrong oh, yeah. address. <laughs> Please meet Shirley and Jim McLean. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your edge files, whatever the hell day it is in uh, March year 2012. The Edge Files on 102.1. The Edge. Edge. You're listening to the Dean Blundell Show on 102.1. Oh, the Edge. Good morning. My name is Chi Min Cheng. Chi Min Cheng. Hey. 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 Oh, Cheng. Oh. 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 Hey, uh, hey, hey! Breaking news before we get to Chi. So that library strike might be over, right? <laughs> there was a library. Strike? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, we're going on strike. What? Yeah, the library strike. What? What? You've been on strike? That's There's what libraries? The, that's what the city said. You've been what? Oh, <laughs> aren't you what? fortunate enough you, just to have a job? You know what they said? You know what they said when they said there's a library strike? This is what they said. They were like, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> we want four fifty an hour. Yeah. What's next? The milkman going on strike. Oh man! <laughs> huh? An exorcist strike. <laughs> the chimney sweeps. Don't you know libra library is crucial for education and your career? It's a big deal. Chi Min Chang, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of reason. Dude, what's wrong with your hair? What's wrong with your hair? Oh, I'm having a bad hair day. Oh, I get it. Bad hair day. What do you mean? Well, why, what's, what are you looking at your watch for? Oh, because I have a new watch. I bought it at a retail store. Oh, that's what he's doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, great. That's amazing. You excited for baseball season? Oh, yeah. So excited for baseball. I am a rabbit fan. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Esther. Esther, Esther who? who? Esther Bunny! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you have an Easter theme today. Yeah! Oh, okay. Very oh, good. Right. See? Oh, okay. Okay. Very oh, good. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Now it's funny. It's time man. for another white person holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Easter. Yeah. yeah. So white excited. Person. It's spring. Yeah. It's time for rebirth of fertility. And what is the symbol of Easter? An egg? A rabbit? Earth. <laughs> Earth? Earth. Earth? 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 What is this, Psychic Nikki? <laughs> Earth. Earth. <laughs> yeah. What do white people like to do on Easter? I don't know. They have an Easter Earth hunt. Easter Earth. Oh, oh, oof, oh, oof. oh, oh it's oh, French. It's for oh, you. yeah, because yeah. in Canada, I'm bilingual. I'm bilingual. Yeah. Oh, wow. Bilingual. What? Easter Earth hunt. Easter Earth hunt. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> yes. But not for those silly people in Colorado Spring. Why? Oh, yeah, they, they canceled it. They canceled that Earth hunt. 
Because. <laughs> <laughs> because the parents are so aggro and helping the children finding the earth. <laughs> you know the aggro? Aggro, aggressive. It's like yeah. swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good, bro. I like it. It's Easter swing. Yeah, Yo, Easter. why you got the aggro off of my egg? Easter slang, you said. Not swing. Swag. swag. Anyway, swag. haha, burn on the parents. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's totally. Burn. You know what the parents are? What? Uh, the parents are an uh, Easter basket case. Oh, I get it. <laughs> good, you know, it certainly brings yeah. new meaning to the phrase, aching on your children. <laughs> <laughs> This is like an episode of America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, Dean. Yeah, 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 yeah. What would you get if you cross an Easter bunny with Chinese food? Ah, uh, I don't know. Oh, Hop suey. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the pub owner who raised a baby rabbit? The what owner? The pub. The, the pub. Oh, pub. pub. Pub owner that raised a baby rabbit? No. Yeah. It was an ingrown hair. How do you make a rabbit fast? Uh, drop it off a building. Don't feed it. <laughs> no, but say we'll see, say we'll see. <laughs> oh, oh, we're serious now. All right. Do that, do those two words again. Do it. Say we'll see? Say we'll see, say we'll see. Say we'll see. You know how sometimes people... You know how there's an experiment when you're typing, when yeah. you write something, but yeah. you take out the vowel? Yeah. But you can still read the word? Yeah. Still we'll see. <laughs> but I, I like to say it. Most of your words don't have <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but when I say it, you still understand, basically. Yeah, I get it. All right. Anyway, yeah. did you hear about the energy bunny? No. Was arrested? No. No. Yeah. An energizer bunny? The, the one. energy <laughs> bunny. <laughs> That's a different toy. What happened? He was charged with battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. That's brutal. <laughs> hey <laughs> Only you can get away with these jokes. <laughs> these are so bad. <laughs> anyway. Seriously, seriously. In celebration. Seriously, seriously. seriously. <laughs> I prefer you say that from now every on. Time you every time you move on to your next Okay, so let's say. Seriously. What's all fun? No, that's seriously. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> In celebration <laughs> for Easter, yeah. I make a little song for you okay. and the children. Oh, I'm excited. Very nice. Don't worry. Very happy song. Okay, good. For Easter. Ready? Okay. Oh. He comes deep and taut and direct, popping down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. <laughs> Bringing every ex listener baskets full of Easter joy. Things to make your drive to work okay. Oh. You said it, Dick. <laughs> Dean tells stories about his divorce. Todd goes on the street and plays. Derek is blind but watch movies and they're trying not to press delay. Here comes Todd, <laughs> Dean and Todd and Derek hopping down the bunny trail. <laughs> hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. <laughs> You're listening to the Dean Blundell Show. If you're looking for real theater, you're not getting it. Dean Blundell Show. Not nice. On point one, The Edge. So you know, St. Patty's Day was uh, just passed, so we had some guy call and defend Rob Ford today. And I, I, I think it's great he's our mayor because he's given me, trust me, hours of entertainment. <laughs> it's the best. He, he's, he couldn't uh, even write a movie about, about a guy like that. It's funny. Speaking of which, um, I got an email from a guy named Louie. Louie's on the phone with us now. Hi, Louie. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Good, bud. Thanks for the email today. You're a DJ. You're at the beer market on St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, management, was... it says, didn't know where to put me in my equipment. They threw me in the VIP section. Lo and behold, he, Rob Ford, shows up at 11 p.m. with his two assistants, a couple of his buddies, and two chicks around the age of 30. Is that correct? Yeah, that's yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, now what did uh, what did you see? Now, now keep in mind, I've already talked to him, and I, I've already talked to Louie, and I've said, Louie, if you're going to tell uh, the story about what happened that night or what you observed, make sure it's all true. So this is allegedly, well, not allegedly, this is all true. It is, yes, it is, yeah, yeah. Okay, because so I couldn't, I, I couldn't believe for myself, like when I turned around on my first set, that he was there. I okay. even asked, 
the, uh, the security, you know what I mean? And it, it, it is him. Yeah, it was him. So where, where were they? They were all sitting down. What kind of stuff were they doing? <laughs> Of course, uh, he wasn't an imposter. Having drinks or whatnot, um, he was just, ca- you know, carrying on, laughing out loud. So he was having you know. fun. He was partying. Yeah, he was having, a f- yeah, having fun, whatever. And then he starts getting up. Like, you know, like, I'm trying to uh, do my thing. And then I hear all this noise in the background. And I hear, you know, some arguing, whatever, with his two buddies and whatnot. And I couldn't believe what was happening. You know what I mean? While, you know doing my thing, you know, that night, right? Yeah, it says here he was a mess, starting fights with his buddies and acting like an idiot. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, give me some examples of that. Uh, well, you see, like, as I was turning around, like, he was just, like, slamming the table, saying that he's this, he's that, and, like, I, I can't hear everything, you know what I mean? But, yeah. like, you know, like, the way I was carrying on... Was like, he getting upset about the subway and the LRT thing? Uh, I, don't, I couldn't recall, I, you know, I couldn't really hear what, you know, the discussion <laughs> Okay, so, but he was, having, he was right? hitting the table at one point, just... Getting aggressive, yeah, but yeah, in, in, yeah. In not in a bad way. He was just with his buddies, with his and they buddies, were partying, yeah. just being loud, yeah, yeah. not being crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 How hot yeah. were the chicks? Uh, they're okay. You yeah, know I mean, uh, one was really interested in him. The other one was. You know what I mean? It's like really. Oh. You know? Might it might it have been his wife? No, oh no. Oh, just maybe just a friend of his from work. Who knows? I mean, yeah, let's not let's, yeah. not let's not let's uh, not presumptuous. That's what yeah. I was looking for. Maybe it was a chubby chaser. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been. There's some women chubby chasers, too. Oh, yeah. Time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was, like, uh, extra fat, I, yeah. I said to my girlfriend, how did you, I was looking at pictures, I said, how did you even like me back then? She goes, I don't know. I'm like, you were a chubby chaser. She must have been. Yeah. must have been. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, dude. Uh, so what happened then? Oh, so um, I I was approached by management and all sorts, and... Uh, they're like, okay, we need to close the curtain because we can't have nobody seeing him here. And I'm like, well, what are you talking about? Like, and like, you know, they close the curtain toward, you know, from front of me, and I can't. Too bad you can't. Too, too bad you can't close the curtain on the radio, huh? Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. So go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> I've I've seen him there, and uh, I just couldn't do my thing, like what I want. Really so he sh- they shut the curtain because they did. He didn't want anybody seeing him the at man, the bar, yeah, the having man, a party. Man. Yeah, so exactly. now he's in, you're in his own little section, just Which you may and I him. say, if you're, yeah. you know, if, even if you're a mayor and you want to go and party, you're a leader of. You should be allowed to go and party and get a little raucous. That you well, should. That, well, that's it. You know. Well, they took. You know, they were like protecting him and all sorts. You know, yeah. covering, you know, covering the door off of the VIP area. It's like, yeah, but did he did he did he puke deal. on anyone? Did he give someone a wedgie? Was there wrestling? What was going on back there? Uh, no, just. just like bickering, arguing, he was just loud mouthing. Like, uh, like a Chris I Farley think, movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Flipping over tables. <laughs> like that ninja one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beverly Hills yeah. Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> was he nice to you or did he talk to you at all? No, not even. He not talk even. To he looked you. at me, yeah, just with this. Angry face or whatever. Oh no, that's I mean. just that's just the regular dude. That's you just know, like, that yeah. angry face. He probably <laughs> looked at you, and you probably looked like a donair with arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't mind eating you right now. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, yeah. dude, were, were, did, were they nice to you there? Uh, his assistants actually were really cool. Uh, they asked me if I needed anything. They got you know picked up uh, two drinks for me. You know, oh, that's nice. Oh, good. See? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're really cool. Yeah. So not uh, not all bad. You just you know. Rob Ford isn't the most social guy, so he's probably real social with his close group of friends, and then probably was having a great time and yeah, had a couple yeah, of yeah. beverages. Nothing serious. Huh? No, no, no. It, it's probably not too dissimilar did he look, from hey, most when most guys go yeah, out to VIP exactly. sections, right? Well, did he? Hey, did he look sweaty, Louis? Yeah. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> How red was his face? What was he eating? Uh, no, 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 uh, no food. Straight yeah. drink. Oh, it was liquid. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And his face would just lit like a cherry, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Well, listen, appreciate your call. Thanks very much. All right, no problem, man. Have a great day. Right. Bye. Yeah, so there Peace. you go. Nothing too serious. No, nah, right? he went out and had a good time. St. Yeah. Patrick's Day. Yeah. I mean, how, how many people remember that day anyway? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> the whole point of it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not him.
because I heard, people sent us pictures of him after. You can see him oh, on the, the blog. They're amazing. They're one, I posted one picture of him after. He was like, and the cool thing is, is that I got a hand to the guy. I take the pictures, piss. Right? He's still doing pictures, <laughs> whether yeah. he remembers yeah. them or not. And everybody would say, "Hey, Rob, listen, if you go out and tie one on, don't don't fall down on the ground, and hump around like a whale, and have pictures with people. It's not cool." <laughs> yeah, but clearly he's got like this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Doesn't I kinda, matter. I kind of like that about <laughs> yeah. Weight, waist challenge. Who cares? I don't need to step on the scale. <laughs> he doesn't care. Yeah, know. You know what the scale reads? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm the best. Hey, what do you mean? Scale say? It says uh, three, three, oh, eight, three. Oh, it's settled on. I rule. Yeah. <laughs> Next week. I swear to God, it's 185. Look at it. Yeah, 185. Yeah, yeah, it Isn't it 185? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> I got pork rinds. Yeah. I'll eat the scale. It's evidence. <laughs> Have I'll eat anybody watching? Okay. <laughs> It's the best. I know, I it's love the him. best mayor we've ever had. I know. I've changed my so mind. Lucky. I think he's the coolest guy I ever. Now, keep going, Rob. Yeah, keep yeah, going. Do your thing. Do your thing. He still thinks of putting subways in it. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I actually got. I bought a shovel at Home Depot the other day. I'm gonna be the first guy down there. You want an example? I said an example. I'm gonna get down there with my hard hat and my splunking light and look out. I'm gonna dig like a mother effer. Toronto's new rock in the Dean Blundell show. Weekday mornings, 102.1. The Edge. Welcome to the Dean Blundell Show. Thank you. Today, we'll be opening up the phone uh-huh. lines to find out a little bit more about you. Oh. What's wrong with you? Oh, yeah. Why are you so different? I don't know. I can tell you. From normal people. You totally. What happened in your life? Coat hanger. To make you so... I got coat hangered. Odd. Got coat hangered in Please the join us, won't you? Hey, the edge. Hey, how are you? Good. Who's this? It's uh, Bill calling. What's wrong with you, Bill? Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I'm from uh, Oshawa. Oh. And mm-hmm. and, uh, and uh, second, uh, you know, a couple of years of the story, a couple of years ago, you know, this is what's wrong with me. Uh, I used to be married, and I uh, hired a contractor to come in and paint my house. Oh, he painted your wife, too, didn't he? Oh, yeah. He painted my wife's face and everything, and then he gave me chlamydia, too. Oh! <laughs> that's quite a painter! <laughs> Buddy, you won't believe it, man. Oh, How long did, were they doing it for? How did it, how did it feel? Well, after a couple of weeks and my house wasn't painted, I started to want it. <laughs> <laughs> Except your wife was all green, which was weird. <laughs> well, that's the thing. And then I went to the doctor, and you know, I was like, what's going on here? And he's yeah. like, well, you must have got chlamydia. And I'm like, well, how did I get chlamydia? I've only been sleeping with my wife. And he's like, you must, she must have been sleeping with somebody else. And then... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Hang on. Was that's it crazy. college pro painters? <laughs> <laughs> At the edge. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, you? Um, excellent, actually. Just at work, very chill day. So, what's Good wrong up. with me? Um, I have a very thick penis, and it gets me into trouble. Oh, thick. here we go. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah it's like okay, a tuna yeah. fish can. It's not long, is it? Is it just thick, or is it long? It's not like a tree stump. Don't give me that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I was recently with this girl, and uh, she dared me to have sex in a church. And so, we had sex in the church, and I decided to go to door number two as well. And because it's so uh, wide, it basically got a lot of fun stuff coming out. Yeah, after I, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm the man. Hey, Mr. Yeah. Big. Hi, yeah, the edge. I'm the coolest. Hi, The Edge. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. <laughs> all right. So um, one time I was at the bar with my boyfriend, and we had uh, a bit too much to drink. So we went out into the parking lot, and I was uh, servicing him mm. behind some cars. And uh, he definitely had too much to drink, so he started to let loose, I guess you could say. And uh, we thought that what was coming out was what was supposed to, but he actually ended up urinating in my mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that's impossible. That's impossible. Well, it's not impossible. Yes, it is. If, it, if maybe he's, he's just not very good at it. If he's ready, it's impossible. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Maybe I, I think I'm just going to give it to the guy from the painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you win. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't need to hear anymore. That's one of the best ones ever. <laughs>
for uh, getting chlamydia from the painter that painted more than your house and your wife. Uh, you win, sir. Congratulations. All right. Thank you very Did much. Did you ever get the house painted? What's that? Did you ever end up getting the house painted? Uh, half of it got done. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show, taking a moral stand on morality. Mornings on the edge. Time for uh, open phones. Start here, why don't you? Hi, the edge. Good morning, guys. Hey, who's this? It's Carrie. How are you? Good. I'm just calling to say a quick happy birthday to my boyfriend. You guys know him as Andrew from Orangeville. It's oh, that that uh, big that big construction worker yes, guy. Yes, he's the best. It's his birthday today. He's 30 years old. I just want to say a quick happy birthday and that I love him. Oh, gr- you gonna do the Gross. birthday beach? <laughs> yeah, give him the birthday beach. I will. I will tomorrow when I see him or Saturday. And a girl. That's love. <laughs> You guys have a great day. Thank All you right. very much. Take care. At the edge. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Not too bad. What's your name? It's Bill. What's up, Bill? Uh, well, I just wanted to uh, get the guys to have a little laugh at one of your contestants that was on uh, what happened today. He's actually one of my coworkers. Which and, one? The uh, dude that? Uh... The back door guy. Oh, the thick guy. Yeah. Yeah. Said he's got a thick thing. Does he really? <laughs> no, he doesn't. And last week, he actually called in, and you guys hung up on him twice. Yeah. You remember him? Oh, oh, is, that, is, the, he a, is he a huge loser? He is, yeah. <laughs> is he like, do you guys make fun of him all the time on the job site? Yeah, we make fun of him all the time. Yeah. So he's got a small thing. So he yeah. just tries to make up stories to yeah. seem like the cool guy. Yeah. All right. Thanks, dude. I think ratting out his friends. Hi, hey, The Edge. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. See, I gave him an IOU, and he can't decide which option he wants. Okay, what's the IOU? Well, he filled my car up with gas last night because I really didn't feel like going out. Uh-huh. So I wrote him an IOU. So he either gets beach, and he can <laughs> it on the boobs. Or so we got to we got hang on hang on hang on we got you're awesome by the way to begin with yeah. <laughs> yeah but by the way if you ever need your tank filled up with gas <laughs> yeah. you know, call us please <laughs> um so you op- you said if you went and filled up your tank he he got uh, the beach and then he could uh, do the finish on the uh, upper region right and, or, or the lube candy mm. the face mm. no no for option option uh, one one. Yeah, yeah. Definitely one, right? Because we can do we can do the two and just like substitute it for like anything, you know? Yeah. Yeah. See, so it's more about the way you get there than the way you finish. Mm-hmm. I see. So you depends on what you story. like. Yeah. Well, I'm good either way. <laughs> wow. I like you. Oh, I just hope you run out of gas soon. <laughs> so That's a great girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. See what I do for a flat tire. <laughs> <laughs> An important message. The Dean Blundell Show. Weekday mornings on the edge. Time for some more open phones. Hi, the edge. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, who's this? It's Jen. Hey, Jen, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What's up? I just want to complain. I just came back from oh, vacation. Complaint. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, complain. Not about you guys for a change. Um, no kidding. Oh, great. <laughs> uh, it, the AC strike? Because I was away on vacation. I didn't know that there was a strike. Or What's the AC strike? You, the outside the worker? Air Canada. Yeah. Oh, the well, Air Canada. Canada. There are so many strikes going on. Did you hear about Too the Too many. Li- no, Did you hear about the I, library strike? No, I only <laughs> 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 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you hear about the library? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me where your local library is? Um, yeah. That's oh, too bad. Because I could see all the people picketing out there. Oh, are they doing Quietly. It? Quietly, yeah. With their Tims in hand and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, tough life. <laughs> but because Air Canada went on strike, our flight was the only one that was canceled. So I was stuck overseas. For, where? I was in Hong Kong. Oh, you were in Hong Kong? Yeah. How long were you stuck overseas for? Well, it was supposed to be a week, but then I went to actually, I went to complain about that. I said, there's no way that you're going to make me stay overseas for an extra week, and they weren't going to offer me any accommodation. Oh, one night. They they were going to offer me one night accommodation for the seven nights that I had to be there. Dude, they should be putting you up in the Hilton yeah. and have like five fluff boys for you, too. <laughs> for that With kind of inconvenience. And my two kids? Yeah, or or better yet, get, they should get a babysitter for the kids no, so you and your husband could get a fluff boy. 
<laughs> sure, why not? Yeah. Well, they finally, when I went to the airport and complained, they gave me the next flight out, which was the next day. Really? So they wouldn't have done that otherwise? Yeah. Well, maybe a lot of people are like, oh, I don't have to come home for a week. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess so. Some people might say, okay, extended vacation, whatever. If I was mm -hmm. just with my husband, I'd say, okay, fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I had my two kids with me, so I wasn't going to spend an extra week there. Yeah, no kidding. I, um, I, I wouldn't, I, no offense, and I've, I've been to Hong Kong twice. I wouldn't spend an extra week there either. Oh, it was so... Busy. Too busy for me. It's too busy. That's why yeah. when I landed in Toronto, I was like, I miss Toronto so much. Got a girl. Even with all the strikes and whatnot, I'm just like, I'm so glad to be home. Well, we appreciate your call. What's your name? Yeah. Thanks. What, what's your name? Elaine. Oh, Jen. Jen. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> See, Elaine. No, Jen. <laughs> what do you? What do you work for them? Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, of all the strikes uh, that I support, I support the Air Canada one. And I'll tell Dude. you why. Yep, big time. Pilots get paid. Keep in mind, they're operating one of the biggest machines in the world, full of lives. They get paid jack crap. Literally. If you, you, you look at a pilot, so I have a friend that was a pilot for one of the discount airlines. He was paid almost almost below poverty when he first started. And, and now even still. He doesn't get paid that great, but he just yeah, loves flying. Yeah. Still, you can have a uh, woman in every port of the country. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, the you got yourself a job at uh, Tim Hortons on the weekends when you're not fly boy. Sure, you sure. Sure. How would you like a double double? <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Would you like a cream filled donut with that? You sure. Wasn't it the baggage handlers that were on strike, though? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's not the, even, the pilots the wanted pilots? to go. Well, the pilots wanted to go on strike, and the government's yeah. like, no, keep flying, pricks. And the pilots are like, forget it, man. This sucks. And so they called in sick a whole bunch of them. Remember that a while ago? You know, for the amount of people I and know... I support those guys, big yeah, time. I was going to say, though, for the amount of people I know that have lost their luggage or had misplaced luggage, yep. I think until you get that, you don't get the right to strike. No, it's, yeah, it's that's all right. perfect. <laughs> We've been flying for yeah. almost 100 years yeah, now. Come on, get that right first, <laughs> yeah. and then go strike. You bring me my bag, <laughs> yeah. I'll give you this sign. <laughs> hey, The Edge. Hello. Hey. What's happening, boys? What's happening with you? Not much, man. Listen, man, quick story, man. A couple of weeks ago, down at the uh, Raptor game Friday night with my wife, yeah. and uh, Raptors are uh, crap, so we just said, yeah, you know what, let's just take off, go to a bar. So we go to a bar on Queen Street, Queen of Spadina. Right behind us, there's some guy, and he's talking away, and he's saying on how uh, how he does things and how he's straight up with women, and this woman's not really saying much. She's a hot broad, though. And uh, he's proceeding with, uh, well, you know, if you have any issues, if you have any... You know, things that I should know about, I should know about. It just, like, very arrogant guy. Oh. Yeah. So I find out it's that douchebag, Dimitri, that you guys care about. Oh, no. Yeah, I figured. I had Dimitri the stud? Yeah, that guy. I have his voicemail here. Th this guy, it, there's been a movie about him, and, it, and it's like one of those, like, you know, some guy just decided to follow him around because he was such a ridiculous dork. Uh, and I've actually talked to him on the phone. He pretends that his his assistant will get back to me, and then he puts on like a high voice. This is years ago. Yeah, he'll get back to you tomorrow. <laughs> it's not even him. <laughs> but this is the voicemail that started all. He he used to be a doctor. He was uh, he took his license away for something. I don't know. I, I think it was inappropriate uh, behavior around women. Uh, I think. Don't quote me on it. Mm -hmm. So they took his license away, and then and, and his whole thing that he does he does seminars on how to pick up chicks. But listen to the voicemail. And this will tell you how successful he is. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, they're all good, Dimitri. Sorry I had to leave such a rushed message oh. with you uh, when we uh, met the other day. I just want to quickly give you your, uh, my phone number, and I had to get the heck out of the area. In any event, I figure I'd better leave you a more detailed message um, and explain why I approached you. I am single. I have no trouble meeting women. I mean, women approach me six, seven times a day but I'm very particular about what I like. You're extremely elegant. I couldn't take my eyes off of you, and your friends were very jealous. Even if they say they weren't, they were envious of the fact that uh, I approached you, and I was very taken by you. Elegant women are very rare. I'm Greek, and I'm very particular about what I like. He's particular. Oh, I was going to make a uh, sheep nah. joke. It's, nah. yeah, it's, 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 it's right to tell. I like Velcro gloves and shearing scissors. <laughs> so I'm giving you an opportunity here. I don't know if you pick up the messages on the weekend, but I'm, I'm working on a movie script, so I'm pretty much around all weekend. 
doing that. I left <laughs> to my number. This looks like a landline, and if it is, you may not get the message till Monday. But when you do, call me, and then we'll get together for coffee and chat and uh, let the romance begin. You look very taken aback by my approach, and I hope that isn't timidness. I hope it was just a little bit of uh, shock at being approached so um, uh, directly. Uh, because I don't really date timid women because I'm a very direct, very passionate, very assertive man. Maybe. Oh, I can't say that either. And I want a woman who's very independent and uh, strong. Blah, 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 blah. So uh, anyway, we'll talk about that. But yeah. I just wanted to formally introduce myself. Now I have. I leave the ball in your court. You call me as soon as you uh, have the courage. Something makes me think someone's left the ball in more than his court before. <laughs> like a like a like a court order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like his mouth. Okay. <laughs> okay, Olga. Talk to you soon. Bye. So then he calls back because she didn't call him. No way. Is, oh, he gets so you mad. Mean a woman Hi there, call back? Yeah. It's yeah. Dimitri calling again. The guy from the street. I left you a message several days ago. You said you were interested. Now here's the way I work. <laughs> I don't like leaving second messages, but I like you. You're a very elegant woman. You're very attractive, but. You know, I don't play that game. I know. Did, 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 did you, if you see this guy around, tell Whoa. him I'm looking for him. Mm. Not in a bad way. I just want to talk to him. Well, we can him. get him on. You want to get him on? He won't. He won't come I've on? i asked him like ten times. No, he won't. What a pussy. Total pussy. <laughs> he can do this and stalk. Or not, I shouldn't say stalk. He could approach women. In a very creepy way, in we can say. In a very creepy that's what way. It that's creepy. He can do movies about what it's like to pick up babes, which I would venture guess say he probably can't. Because of this super forward douchey attitude. I wonder. Hey, the edge. Hey, uh, is there way I can get on the Dean Mundell show? Yeah. Uh, Kenny? Uh, sure. Should we talk to the guys first? Yeah. Do you guys want to talk to him? I guess so. Sure, go ahead. Hello? Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Good. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Good. Who am I speaking with? The guys. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I, Welcome. I How's it going? Hey, man. A lot of people say we have different radio voices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sound different on the phone. Yeah. Go ahead. You're on the radio. Oh, wow. This is great. This is great. All right. See you later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He lost his chance. Yeah, there you go. Blew it. High the edge. Hey, how's it going? Hey. I'm, a ba I'm a baggage handler. Okay. okay. We, don't lose the, we don't lose the bags. It's the belt system. It's the belt system that loses the bags? Well, how do they lose them? Hey, did they fire like 37 of you guys the other day? No, well, I, do, you, do, you know what, do you want to know what happened, dude? Sure. Lisa Ray came in, you know, the labor oh, you Yeah, you all applauded her because you were being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah, we were just clapping, and she got all worried and bent out of shape. Yeah. And, these guys, and corporate security started pulling these guys' passes for no reason. So we're like, you know what, screw this. We're all going to go, we're all going to walk out, screw it. Yeah, I know. That's I saw exactly it on TV. Happened. Yeah, solid. Day. All right. So you just... Oh, they got you. Oh, okay. So it was like it was like a, it was like a girl fight. <laughs> <laughs> you do this, while I'm doing that. Yeah, it was we'll like yeah, it was like a girl fight. And now you're not getting paid. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Did and you we get fired or no? No, no, no. Right. A couple of other guys did, but they got the jobs back. All right. Yeah. So it was just like a fake firing. Oh, we're firing you. Hire you back. Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. And we weren't allowed to go on strike either. All right. Well. Thanks. I love you. Thanks for getting my. Haven't lost my bag yet, so thanks. Hi, the edge. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's up, dude? Nothing much. It's uh, the guy who called in with the Christopher Walken bit uh, earlier in the week. Yeah, yeah. he did. For, that was pretty that was good. Pretty that funny, was funny. Yeah. He talked about the chickens. <laughs> yes. Hello, my lovely audience. Thank you for taking my call again. Unfortunately, I'm talking and driving, so I'm going to keep it brief. I just wanted to say, Dean, Todd, you have made unemployment so easy to deal with with your amazing <laughs> show. I don't know if Derek's there. If I'm he here. He's here. Derek, I'm so sorry that I did not mention you on Monday. I was talking about it with my brother. We realized that it was very inappropriate. I bawled my eyes out. You still got to whack on the Chris for walking just I'm a little sorry. bit. You're not quite as extreme as you, you should be. how busy it is on the roads right now. But you're doing your pauses. A little too calculated. And you're right. He seems to be 
doing something every three syllables. It's almost like he's making a pizza at the same time. <laughs> Dean Blundell Show, 102.1, The Edge.